Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to episode 26, I think, I think it's episode 26, of our Europa Universalis 4 campaign as Naples. Um, so without further ado, let's get going. Um, so last episode, quite a fair few things happened. Um, firstly, our king died, which was worrying. Luckily, we did actually take that thing to get a weak heir, so we didn't end up in a personal union, which is nice. We went to war with Venice, as you can see. Um, we've already annexed the Papal State. Um, and now we're just dealing with, with Venice themselves. Um, we also... What else did we do? Well, that's about it, I think. Um, we got some claims on a few people. We're going to continue now getting claims on, um, on Tunis. Um, so we're going to go for Seuss... Basically, I want to get the coast of Tunis first. I'll take the inland, <coughs> the inland afterwards. Um, oh, lovely! Printing press gives benefits. That it does. Um, what I have thought would be a good idea is to um, vassalize the Mamluks. Yeah, I'm going to vassalize the Mamluks. And then I can use them to feed... I can feed them back their land. If I do end up going to the war with the Ottomans, which I'm sure I will do. So that seems like a good option. France have got an army stuck here, which is a little bit annoying. Um, hopefully they'll come and pick them up. I've never, ever, ever ever seen anyone take the offer fleet basing rights option. I don't even know why it's in the game. It's just so few people take it. It seems a bit silly to me that it's even in there if the AI are never going to use it. Um, gain prestige. Actually, we don't mind taking that. That uh, minister one. Pope has called for a crusade against the Otter Blobs. Um, let us... Is it worth starting to... Yeah, I'd say it was probably worth starting to um, send a missionary over there to start pouring. Uh, sorry, converting. Um, should we... No, we don't even have a... Can't even... Don't even have a missionary person to send uh, to boost our missionary strength. So never mind. They are at war with who? Persia, Naj, and Russia. Aren't Russia still in a war against Commonwealth? They are. Okay, so Ottomans have probably won that. Um, I guess I'm just going to wait for the thing with the Commonwealth to, um, to, to get to max relations and then I will peace out Rome, Papal State, rather. Oh, I know what was 24. I remember in last episode, I was like, what is in 24? What is in uh, 1624? It was when I could annex Corsica. So we're going to do that in the next. Uh, once we have um, ended this war, because obviously we can't do it whilst we're at war. Because the game will not let us. Right. That's fine. Right, let's peace out. Pokeman. Take a bunch of Pokeman's money. Make it break his alliance with uh, Spain. War reparations. Boat cores. Yeah, that seems fine for Pope Man. Um, and then it'll just be Venice left over now. There we go. There goes Pope, Pope Man's armies. Peace offer from Sax Lomberg. What? I'm not even a war... What? Oh, ne... Luca must have gone up there and... Oh, Genoa... That's pretty amazing. I had no idea that somebody went after them. Um, so, Sax Lomberg. Let's, so, we'll take their money. I don't care about their things. And I want war reparations. Um... <sighs> I don't care about the rest of it. I just want m their money, basically. 
That's fine. So now it's just... Uh... Oh, actually, we've got a nice chunk of change now, so we should probably spend this... I was going to say should spend on manufactories, but we don't actually have any manufactories to... S uh, any areas that can currently take manufactories. There's somewhere else that we could build a... Ah, there we go, a trade thing. Go. Right. Um, now it's just us and Venice and Cyprus. Cyprus are not going to do anything because they're probably still sat over there. Oh, Venice have got um, Crete still. I had no idea. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be their last holding, I imagine. I will take it eventually. Uh, let's see what we can actually get out of this war, though, first. So I want to transfer all of these over to Luka, basically. Uh, Luka. And now we're going to jump across this straight. Ta-da! Um, who's got a siege value? You don't. You do. So I'm going to move you back over there. Just not to uh, well, reduce the amount of um, what's decalled we get. National unrest and yearly corruption reduction. Lovely. I hope that I don't get my... My navy doesn't get its ass kicked by this one that's hiding. Lose lots of money, gain loyalty, influence, and mercantilism. Seems fine to me. Can we actually claim anything off the burgers? We do that. Ask for Diplo power. Because that'll get us closer, obviously, to our next idea. Um, right, our guy in Venezia died. We're going to swap out our armies. Uh, we need to get this, get this up, get this guy an army. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh dear, I think my navy's going to get um, destroyed. Recall our guy from Milan. Um, looks like our guy in Tunis, or our, yeah, our guy in Tunis got caught. Not ideal. Oh, I did actually win that battle. Amazingly. How many troops did I lose? A few. Um... I'm going to build a load more ships, I think. And we'll give this to Luca as well. Is it worth us going after? Crete? Probably not. It's too much effort. Uh, we've already got 99% war score anyway. See what it suggests we do. Wow, that is a lot of money. Um, what if I take Verona, give that to Luca? And Treviso. Uh, um, very dairy me. How much will this cost? I'm going to take those two. <laughs> A ton of money. Break their anything they've got with um, Austria. And make them give me money. That seems fine. Right, naval race versus Spain. I need 66 ships. Oh, I'm going to do that easily. So we'll uh, take that. Um, I'm going to move... Him there, and him there. Oh, I really like that. That went quite well. I'm quite impressed. Especially with that amount of money. That is an obscene amount of money that, um, that they had. Just sat chilling in their accounts, which is pretty amazing. Ooh, Malta have got a shed ton of um, manpower. So, what do we need to do now? It's probably worth us as to not totally like annoy people to start improving relations with some of our neighbours. 
So we'll get that going. Uh, no, actually, we need to send one diplomat. There we go, back down to Tunis. And let's get back to repairing this navy. So I can upgrade the ships in this navy as well, actually. I might as well do that while it's there. So it has currently has 10 galleys and 13 cogs. Oh, 13 transports. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 20 transports. And let's get some more galleys. One, two, three... Four, five. Uh, that should be okay for the moment, I think. We'll let that. We'll see <coughs> how our navy ends up there. Did all of our trade navies, trade fleets, actually get back to where they were meant to be? I think they did. Um, we have been warned not to go to war with anyone by the Otter Blobs. Oh my God! Ah, oh, that'll go well. For you, I'm sure. Probably because they wanted Istria. And to be honest, that was one of the main reasons I took it. And then we get even more money. That's... Oh, God. We're doing... We're doing well. Can I do anything with my great power status? Who has debt? Is there a way in the ledger of seeing who has debt? Um, debt, 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 debt. Oh, no. That's income comparison. And let's have a look. Loans. Or is that just my loans? I don't actually know any way of finding out if somebody has debt. Maybe it's not possible without actually looking individual, going from individual to individual. Bosnian separatists. Oh, so uh, well, Ottomans are winning their war. But that might just be because they've occupied one or two provinces. I mean, Russia is still having issues with the Commonwealth, which is quite funny. Um, I didn't annoy France with my aggressive expansion, did I? Slightly, but that'll go down pretty quickly. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so once I've finished improving relations with Austria a little bit more, what I'll do is... Uh... Really bother me. Uh, cha chance of new air plus 25%. That's quite good, actually. And yearly prestige plus uh, 0.5. Diplo annexation cost I'd really like to have, but I mean, that wouldn't really matter for... Genoa. Uh, so let's... Our guy just got kicked out of Tunis, so we might as well set this guy to work annexing Genoa. Um, and then hopefully this guy will be done in... Oh dear, Austria no longer a great power. Who is a great power? Ottomans, France, Commonwealth, me, England, Spain, Portugal and Ming. I'm amazed that Ming have still got it. Are all of our ships done? They are. Let's bring all of these guys together in Naples. Uh, Napoli, sorry. And what can we do with you? Hunt pirates in Genoa. There we go. All right, recall our diplomat from Austria and send him back to build a spy network in Tunis. They've got quite a lot of unrest in these provinces. I don't know how much... I, have they increased autonomy? No, oh, they haven't. That's fine, though. Is it about time that we chain, that we promoted one or two other cultures? I don't know. Oh, this would be good. Incorporate Genoa into our country. That came at the perfect time. Because we are going to do that, or in the still in the process of doing that. We are currently our missionary in Anaba is going quite well. Right, our great philosopher died. 
Oh, I was hoping for a, um, a what's it called? A what's it called bloke, a missionary guy. Um, we're going to take the yearly inflation reduction guy. We're going to upgrade with, oh, I was going to say we're going to upgrade with two of the other ones, but we can't at the moment because there aren't any. Hooray. Hopefully they'll spawn in soon enough. That's a bit weird. I thought they were no normally always three of each one. There's only a three and a one currently. Um, stability we'll take. Thank you very much. National decisions available. Missionary strength plus one. Yep, that'll speed this up even more. Uh, recall our thing from Savoy. We've now finished converting that, so let's start converting Bizert. Assuming that's how you pronounce it, it may well not be. Um, what should we do with the spare diplomat? Do we have anyone to... Uh, let's improve relations with France. Just top that up. I think is our truce with uh, Tunis is up anytime soon, isn't it? So we'll get this last claim. We just integrated Genoa. Uh, let's get our last claim fabricated. So we're going to go for Sfax. That sounds good. Um, and then let's um, keep our guy in Tunis to get more claims. Um, there's a merchant man there. I must have forgot to attach him onto um, our war fleet, as I have called it. Let's get another merchant man, actually. So I think our armies are 22 each, aren't they? They are, yeah, so that would make sense to get another merchant man. I think what we're going to do next is... Um... Oh, God, we need to get like 10 more leather cannons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10... There we go. For our armies, we need to get at least get five five more leather cannons in each one. Our truce with Tunis has ended. Encouragingly, they haven't yet, even though they have, don't have a truce with because even though they don't have a truce with the Ottomans, as you do get if you dishonor somebody's alliance, I think you get a truce with them. Tunis don't. And they haven't got an alliance back yet, so something must be going well. Is that all of my troops made? It is. Um, so, let's bring them all into Furin's. Great, five of them to go there. Good, looks good. What's the unrest here at the moment? Uh, friendly troop. Oh, no, that's fine. I can pull these guys away now without having to worry too much. Um, let's send our war fleet around here to retrieve our other army. Although I think this one did have a bit more unrest. Oh, no, it's still, it'll still be in the minus. Have they increased autonomy? They have. That's that'd be why then. There we go. So you can meet up with your new little transport ship. You can make your way down to Syracuse. And we'll move our troops over to Tunis. And then declare war there, I think. And we'll get rid of these guys here because they're mercenaries for some reason. I don't know why you know I had mercenaries. Um, we will get rid of this castle on Corsica. God knows why they've got a cast. Well, I suppose they sort of have to. It's their only one, isn't it? Um, I could build a manufactory. Shipyard. Does that need... So what they currently got? A church and a trade depot. What does it make? It makes naval supplies. So I'm going to actually build a production place on it, and then we'll need to upgrade it. 
there are two guy yet. No! Uh, we're gonna get Diplo Relations guy then, in which case. You can come over there. Of course, now we got, I just realized, we got the right amount of merchantmen for all of our armies, but we recently, we also just upgraded the size of our army. So, that just uh, threw it out of whack a bit. Move them over there, and then they can go into there. There you go. Uh, oh, we got two diplomats with Nout to do. Let's improve relations with Luca. And... I can't believe they wouldn't be a vassal. I'm going to force vassalize Mamluks then. Basically. Um, we're at four out of four diplo relations. I'm going to leave it that way for a while, though, I think. Are Ottomans at war with anyone? They're not at war with anyone anymore. Is the crusade still going on against the Ottoblobs? It is still. I'm going to take more mercantilism, I think. Um, yeah. What do I want to do with this other army? Uh, other diplo... Uh, diplomat, sorry. Who do I need to improve relations with at my allies? Milan, Luca, Milan. They've already recently done that. Um, when do my flames here expire? Probably can't be too long. 36, so I'm going to start getting a spy network in Spain back. And then once... Um, Yeah, once I've finished increasing relations with Luka, I'll declare war. Actually, I may even do that now. It's not like they got any allies. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that now, I think. dub de dum declare war. They don't have anyone. I don't need to call in France, so I'm just going to go after... Um, what do I want to set as the war goal? I think I'm going to go in this direction first, because um, that op then opens up Tlemcen. So let's Mitidja set as our war goal. Is there any one of these things that is a center of trade? No. Okay, that's fine. Lovely jubbly. Right, I will end the episode here, I think. Um, in next one, obviously, actually, I'm... Before I forget, and deactivate all my forts. We don't need them at all. There's no risk of anyone coming over and attacking us, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I will end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. And in the next one, hopefully, this should should be a pretty quick war against Tunis. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I will speak to you in the next episode. Take care.